and this is going to be a war like we've never seen before. The returning prodigy, Joseph Hammer, will take on the veteran that has been through countless wars here inside the squared circle. The one and only Ron Corvus. And this is uncharted territory for Ron Corvus because despite the respect that he should definitely have earned by now, I don't think they're gonna show him much love here in PWM because this is Joseph's return match here in PWM. So I don't know if the fans are going to show the same amount of love towards Ron Corvus here. And Ron, I, I don't think you should be doing this. This is a no holds barred match, ladies and gentlemen. False counts anywhere as well. So Ron Corvus, these two shouldn't be up in the air trying to get hugs and kisses from the fans. These two should be battle ready to go through the ultimate war. And Joseph, I think he better watch out because yeah, called it. I called it. Ron Corbis baited. This whole entire scheme was just him trying to lower Joseph and to lower his guard. And you know what? The veteran succeeded. And now he's just wailing onslaught after onslaught of those chops right onto the chest of the hammer. Oh, right there. Backbreaker now stretching him like an accordion and throwing him down like a ragdoll. Again, now these, uh, this is just the beginning, folks. And you can tell already that Ron Corpus has already begun his ultimate strategy. And you know what? I'm gonna be blunt. He's just going to brutalize his opponent in any way, shape, or form that he can possibly do. And you know what? He's starting off pretty well right now because he's actually getting the upper hand greatly against the former PW Heavyweight Champion. Joseph Hammer now with a beautiful drop again. That's why they call him the Prodigy, folks. And a close light taking down Ron Corvus, the veteran. Oh, he's dazed, and this is just the beginning. Joseph Hammer now seizing the momentum. Oh, but it gets thrown overboard right outside. And right in. There are no pads outside. PWM is just the place for the toughest of boots. Ron Corvus is probably one of the toughest of them all, if not the toughest here. This guy, like I mentioned before, he's been through so many wars, and he comes back here with nothing but a smile on his face, asking for more. But you know what? Tonight, PWM is gonna give him the main course in the form of Joseph Hammer, because Joseph Hammer, he's a wild man of his own. But compared to Ron Corvus, I don't know! Oh, and he shatters his freaking brain! With a trash mob, with a trash, I don't know what that is. Oh, he's serving him fried brains from the cafeteria, that's for sure. I don't know how Joseph recuperated on that one, but Joseph found an opening. And I think he's going to open the skull of Ron Corpus, bashing his head in. This is just the beginning, and we're already seeing nothing but just hands on brutality. And now, a right hand. Landing it on the face of Corvus and Corvus's face. It's getting abused to say the very least right now. Landing on the mat with nothing but. Oh, whoa, 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 holy! Ah, that's gotta hurt. Oh, that's really gotta hurt. I think that's gonna affect uh, not just the entirety of the match, but I think it's gonna affect the entirety of Joseph's night right there. He literally hit his hand on the metal part of the ring post, which is actually the entire ring post, but you get my point. Man. Hold on, Ron Corvus! Yeah, he's been through it all, folks. There's just another day for the veteran known as Ron Corvus. Ah, he bashes his skull in with that beer can. You know what? Ron Corvus is probably the only man in the world who can actually get a power boost, a strength boost, from being intoxicated. Now tossing Joseph back in the ring. Again, the referee can do nothing about this. Oh, and he slingshots him with a leg drop right there. Not enough to put down the former PWM heavyweight champion. But like I was saying before, Ron Corvus can do whatever he wants in this match. The same goes for Joseph. This is literally a playground for Corvus. No disqualification and anything goes. And all the toys in the world are allowed to be in that ring. And he's gonna grab two of those chairs. 
placing them. I don't think he's gonna give one to Joseph. I think he just wanna use both of them to actually inflict as much pain as possible on the hammer right there. And a spinning wheel kick! I'm not surprised, Ron Corfus, he's probably one of the most athletic big men here in his entire industry. Ron Corfus, he's trying to intimidate the referee to potentially just get him to count a little bit faster instinctively, but I don't think that's going to work because Ron Corvus is much better in just literally getting his opponent to stay down and I think he's heeding my advice as he's setting up those chairs and I gotta tell you he's not planning on playing musical chairs with his opponent no 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 he has one thing on his mind folks Corvus has one idea and that is to use those to just destroy his opponent right here as he's going for a suplex it seems like hold on now Joseph fighting back, he's trying to, Joseph reverses, is he gonna do it? Holy s- And a snap suplex, snapping Corvus' back with those steel chairs! And this, it's over. You know, I, <coughs> I really have no idea what to say. I should have expected this, cause like I mentioned before, Corvus, his body has been through a lot. I think despite the sheer insane amount of pain that Corvus must be feeling right now, he's probably got used to it. And that's what got him the energy left to kick out and... Well, I don't know if that's, he's gonna have the energy to withstand that. That is a legit candlestick wrapped around with bamboo wood. And Corvus, oh, he just realized that he's in for a world of pain. And Joseph's showing no mercy. Hold on now. Run the leg sweep along with the candlestick and now with the leg. Oh, okay. Okay, Korf was kicked out of that one as well. Like I said before, and I'll keep on saying it, Joseph needs to realize he's not dealing with an average opponent here. He is dealing with someone as close to being a war veteran in this business as possible. And that is Ron Corvus. Ron Corvus has been through it all and he's expecting it all right here. And Joseph is gonna give it to him all, but oh, uh, oh. Uh, Corvus, using those wise instincts of his, rolls out of the ring. I mean, you know, there's no shame in running away from a legit threat like that. And there's no shame of trying to basically be prepared. And you know what? He's gonna do just that. What? what the? <laughs> Not chucks? Not chucks? I mean, yeah, they're legal, but... Corvus! Oh, he definitely came here prepared. What the hell put them there? Did he actually put them there before the match? Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Corp. Oh, I, I, is he trying to intimidate it? Yeah, you know what? Corvus! Corvus got some moves, but are they going to be useful? Oh! Yep! Yeah. I got my answer. Corvus, yo, he's not done. Oh, but Joseph's not done either. He's done playing games. This ain't the Ninja Academy. This is Pro Wrestling Malta. Corvus now. Setting up Joseph for an exploder suplex, sending him plumbing down. But it's not enough to gain the victory, not just quite yet. However, I think we're nearing the end of this match. We're nearing the end of this battleground. Everyone, Corvus wants to reach the end right here as he wants to end his opponent. And he's trying to do so with, by just literally punching him with close fist right on the jaw along with disrespecting the prodigy let the know that he's the alpha male of this match he's probably the alpha male of the entire locker room let's just be frank and he's just showing his dominance right here I don't think Joseph has much left on the tank I, I think he basically has nothing left at this juncture but Ron Corbus probably has a lot of tricks left up his sleeve and hold on a second Oh, he has as much tricks as there are weapons under the ring and he's bringing out like a stray of wood oh and you know what it doesn't take a rocket scientist it doesn't even take Nostradamus to figure out what the hell Corvus is planning with that oh and an elbow strike right there sending Joseph right back down on the mat and I think that's smart on the part of Corvus because right now Joseph was given plenty of time to catch his breath However, Corvus shot him down, and I think he's planning to shut down his entire career as he places that candlestick right on the spine 
of Joseph. And Joseph doesn't even know what the hell is going on right here. As Corpus signaling toward the end, he said it himself, he is going to finish it. And unless Joseph catches something, unless Joseph desperately finds an opening, this is the end game. Oh, wait a minute! As I said, Joseph gave himself the opening he needed. Is this... Is this the moment Joseph has been waiting for, for this entire match? A close line, duck underneath Corvus, so he was expecting death, and that's the advantage of being a veteran here in this business. And now he's just torturing the young star right there. He is just putting him through hell, back and forth. Now he's just dreading not only the arms and the limbs, but also his spine and his whole entire back in the process. Yeah. That may look simple folks, but that is probably one of the most, if not the most effective holds here in this business. A surfboard stretch while on your knees. And Joseph just swimming in pain. You can tell just how much torment this is actually for Joseph. Ron is at the driver's seat right now. And he's going to take as much time as needed to just finalize the ultimate game plan. The crowd now railing for Joseph to come back and actually secure a win but against Ron Corfus this is it is not it's easier said than done let's put it that way I can see Joseph he's not giving up hope yet Joseph is willing to fight until the bitter end and this could be the end but oh it's the end for Corfus Joseph just tackled Ron through the table Corfus Yo, he must be in a world of hurt right now. And that, I think that might have concussed him for good. It's a, whoa, whoa, what? Corp was kicked out after that? Let me repeat, ladies and gentlemen. He just got tackled through a table and Corvus, this wild man, kicked out. He wants more. He wants to continue battling. And Joseph will oblige. Oh! Corvus! Uh, it's no disqualification, folks. That blow right there is not totally legal. It's welcomed here in this environment. Corvus setting up Joseph for a power bomb. He nails it! Sit down, power bomb! Hey, Joseph! Joseph kicked out! It's a battle of what upmanship right here. Who's the toughest? Who's the most resilient? Who has the biggest heart? And the crowd is appreciating, I don't think just Joseph, but I also I think deep down they're appreciating the effort behind the actions of Ron Corvus. But the hammer right now, he was the victim of the last assault. I think right now he just became a victim of another chair assault. And Corvus is not done. A second one finding its mark right on the spine of the prodigy. Now oh, he's trying to tell the referee to do his job. And you know what? The referee will count the three. It's the only thing he has to do right here. Oh! And a vicious right hook landed its mark. And that's it. Joseph Hammer KO'd Ron Corvus. This victory belongs to the former PW Heavyweight Champion, the prodigy known as Joseph Hammer.